Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Gift of Fitness series. <laughs> Today, what we're doing is a 15 minute, no repeat, lean arms. We're gonna work those arms. We're not gonna repeat any exercise. I do have a range of weights at my 15 to my eight pound dumbbells. Just kind of some, a little bit of medium and a little bit lighter as we get tired and fatigued. So grab your sweat tie, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab some weights, your sweat dye drink, and your great attitude. And so let's get warmed up. Let's start by moving those arms up and down across your body, and you're rotating those thumbs around and giving yourself a hug that you're here today, and you're moving, and you're shaking. We've got three more, two more, last one. Let's lean down. Big swings right here, crossing in front and then big swings, kind of squeezing those shoulder blades as you come up. Give me a lot of motion here. We've got three more, two more, last one. This time we're gonna throw those arms forward and drive, thumbs up towards that ceiling. Drive it up, we've got three more like this. Two more, last one. You're gonna take those arms all the way back and throw them up over like you're gonna throw a ball right over your head. Oh yeah for three, two, last one. Take that arm forward, thumb up, and then rotate that thumb down and pull it back. Right there, back and forth. Again, a big movement. That shoulder has a lot of movement. We wanna warm that whole thing up. We've got three more like this. Two more, last one right here. Big rotation. This movement, a lot of movement in the shoulder. We wanna work that entire movement. Let's go the other direction. And then we're gonna go right here, like a little bit of a lateral. Get that trunk there. Nice and controlled. Three more, two more. Last one here, let's go to the other. Oh, let's go forward and back. Thumb up, thumb down, like you're swimming and moving water around. Three more, two more. Last one, here we go, big circles. So wing that baby and then rotate it the other direction. And then right here, nice good lateral, throwing it over. Three, two, last one. Now you're gonna press the heel of your hand and push to each side. Okay, so starting to activate a little bit of that back of that shoulder blade. Push through it. We've got two more on each side. Last one on each side, and this time we're gonna push into the diagonal. Same thing, push it out. Three more, two more. Last one, take those arms, keep those elbows straight. We're gonna sink those shoulder blades in and out. Oh yeah. Three more, two more. Last one, take them overhead, bring them down and squeeze. And squeeze, and squeeze, let's go. Three more, two more, last one. Let's roll those wrists, roll them the other way. Let's pull that wrist back. Do a lot of gripping when we do these activities and pull it down. Pull the other out, wrist out, pull it down one more time. Roll it, roll it, and then let's talk about what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna work for 50 seconds and then I'm gonna give you about a 15 second break to move on to the next activity. We're only doing it once. First activity is we're gonna throw those arms out to the side in a nice shoulder abduction. Okay, I don't have my elbows locked, it's slightly bent, and I'm gonna feel like I'm pulling away rather than lifting. When we lift, we tend to up, use that upper trap and compensate. I want a nice controlled up to shoulder level and back down. So it's a long lever arm. Pick a weight you think you can do with that. You're gonna set yourself up for success by rolling those shoulders back. And then here we go. We've got three, two, one out and down. It's control. Oh yeah. Lifting out to the side, controlling that baby back down. Okay, and the tendency is to kind of start jetting that head out forward. Keep that nice and upright, looking up, keeping that head above those shoulders, and then lifting and pulling away from that body out to the side and back up. You're halfway there. We may be only doing it once, but it's gonna be killer because it's a long duration. 
We're gonna do tricep kickbacks next. So we'll hinge down, kick, and do the tricep. 10 more seconds of this. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna hinge down, drive those shoulder blades back, and extend and back down, okay? So, hinging down, making sure you get that glute out activated and back there. In three, two, one. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Hinge back and down. Really give me that full extension and give me a pause at the top and then come back in so that you really get no swinging, but you're activating that tricep. Feel that back of that arm kick in and back. And I've got my glute activated and what that does is it takes that pressure off that back, extend and back halfway there. We're into the opposite side next. We're gonna do some bicep curls after this. So we're getting the back of the arm. We'll get the front of the arm after this. You got 15 more seconds. Oh man, that 50 seconds is a burnout, right? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're gonna put those arms right up here. We're gonna come up and back down. Nice, good bicep curl. Okay, no swinging, right? We're isolating. Here we go, roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one, we're coming up and back down, slow and controlled. And if you slow it down even more, you can alternate sides. Okay, but if you find yourself using that momentum, drop that weight. Halfway there. Okay, we're gonna do some shoulder flexion. That means we're gonna go into the front next. We've got 15 more seconds. It'll look very similar to how we started, except that we're going to the front instead of the side. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Oh, yeah. Okay, our palms are going to face us. We're going to roll those shoulders back. We're going to pull away from those legs. No lifting again. Up to that shoulder level. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Lift out and back. Now remember, we want to keep those abs, all that core engaged, okay? So my pelvic floor is engaged, my glutes are activated, my abs are activated, solid foundation, and then I'm pulling away from my legs, lifting that shoulder level, keeping that head above. Woo, baby. I don't know about you, but my arms are on fire. <laughs> Come on. And again, I don't have those elbows locked, slightly bent, protecting that elbow joint. It's a long lever arm. Okay, so we've gone out to the side, and now we're going forward. We are going to do back extension. So similar activity, except we're gonna get the tricep that way. That's what we're doing next. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, palms are facing us. Okay, we're gonna hinge down just a little bit. We're gonna extend, and you're gonna pull it back, and then squeeze it towards the center just a little bit. Back, squeeze, and down. Here we go, three, two, one, lift, squeeze, back down. Now, slow it down. Do not let me have momentum on this. Lift it back and then squeeze. Okay, so your pinkies are gonna face towards the ceiling and then you're gonna squeeze those palms together just a little bit, really activating that back. Oh yeah, the back of the arms are looking beautiful. Nice and controlled. Woo! Halfway there. Okay, and then we're gonna do some hammer curls. We're gonna do it at a 45 degree angle, make it a little more interesting. But you got 10 more seconds of this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a hammer curl. It means our palms, our thumbs are facing up. We're gonna be in a 45 degree angle. So it's not gonna be directly forward. Not to the side, 45 degree angle. Roll those shoulders back in. Three, two, one. Curl it up, back down. In that diagonal position. Kind of hitting those muscle fibers, just a little bit different. 
Same thing as before. We got nice controlled abs are all engaged, right? Nice solid foundation. Glutes are activated. Pelvic floor is all strong. Oh yeah. And then of course we're doing nice good breathing. Nice and controlled. You got 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. We're going to do an Arnold. We're not going to do an Arnold press. It's an Arnold rotation. So we're going to be out to the side. We're going to rotate our palms facing us, and then we're going to rotate them out right here. In and out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Rotate them in, and then rotate them out. Squeeze those elbows in together as you throw those palms together, and then rotate those palms in and out, keeping at that 90 degree level. Oh yeah, working those shoulders. Here's the good news, we only have one more activity after this. And then of course our closer with our clincher. Okay, we're gonna do scaption. So we did out in front, we did out to the side, we did out behind. Scaption is like at a 45 degree angle lift in the plane of your scapula, the shoulder blade. That's how we'll finish out. Come on. You got a little bit over 10 seconds left. Hang in there. Push through that burn. Let's go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this is gonna be th kind of palms facing, or thumbs towards the ceiling. We're gonna lift in that diagonal right there. Okay, making sure that head stays above the shoulders. Here we go in three, two, one. Lift out and down. Okay, so the clincher is going to be um, a move where our palms are gonna be facing up. So we're gonna hit that bicep a little bit. We're gonna flex and extend our elbow, pushing it out in front and to the side with a little bit of rotation. So you're gonna probably want your lighter weights for it, just from that long lever arm. We're just gonna burn that out at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, you don't always need a long time to just get a nice, good, strong workout in, right? 15 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. It's the clincher. Okay, so we're gonna take those arms, we're gonna palm facing up. We're gonna go in and out, in and out, but we're gonna rotate in and rotate out. Burn that shoulder out, burn that upper body out. Here we go in three, two, one, in and out, in and out. Oh, burn in and out. Pushing in and out, using our biceps and our triceps and not pushing in and out, using a lot of shoulder. Woo, yeah. Finishing strong. but this is all we got, right? Just a little bit of a cool down after this. Oh man. Come on, stay strong and focused. Almost there. Ten, I mean 20 more seconds, sorry. Woo, got you excited tonight. Hang in there. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop those weights. Shake those arms out. Pull that shoulder across. Oh my word. That was tough. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side. Pull that across. My arms are already noodles. <laughs> okay, take that up and behind you so you get a nice good tricep extension. And then the other side, pull it up behind you. We're going to take those arms behind us. We're going to lift up, open up that shoulder, open up that chest. Okay, and if you don't have that range of motion, grab your towel and hold on to either side. It gives you a little more mobility. 
And you're gonna take that arm, you're gonna rotate that thumb all the way down, and then behind you is gonna get that bicep stretched out. Oh yeah. And then the other side, same thing. Rotate that back and behind. Okay, we're gonna throw those arms. We're gonna do a nice good seat position. Push those shoulder blades out, and then we're gonna lift on up, and we're gonna tug to the side. Give me a nice good traction onto that shoulder. Pull that side. Oh my word, that feels so good. And then we're gonna go the other side. Cool downs are definitely my favorite part. <laughs> Here we go. Nice good stretch. And then we're gonna lift behind for three, two, one. High five for rocking that. Make sure you're grabbing that water and that high protein. And have a great day. Hey guys, I sure hope you liked that video and I am so glad you're being a part of this journey, that gift of fitness. This series is designed to help you give yourself that gift where you get to move better, feel better, and fuel that body for whatever busy season you're in. These are designed to be quick and easy and able to fit in no matter what is going on. I wanted to make sure no matter if it's the holidays or another busy season that you can give that gift of fitness to yourself. So I am so glad you joined me and I wanna make sure you never miss the next workout. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss what's going on. Also, like and thumbs up the videos and give me comments. I love hearing feedback. I answer questions and I get information from you on what you want and what works for you. I love that feedback. If you wanna become friends, join me on Facebook and Instagram. All those links are below and I'm so excited you have joined me. So make sure you give yourself that gift of fitness and join me for this entire series and have a great day.